Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing um, a partial teardown, or maybe just do an explanation what I can see. But the main point of this video, I'm trying to install the M.2 NVMe SSD drive. So this is the one terabyte, and this computer here does accept a regular 2.5 inch hard drive as well as the M.2 um, SSD drive. So while I'm trying to install the new SSD drive, the same time I'll explain to you each of the components, how to remove it or how to replace them. And this video is just about that purpose. So this here is a Lenovo Legion laptop. So as you can see, um, Lenovo is here, Legion is here. Now take a look what is inside. And this is how the keyboard looks like. All right, so this one here does, in, does come with the uh, graphics card, which is the uh, NVIDIA G, uh, GTX. Um, I think this is a 1050, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but you can look it up the specs um, by Googling the model number. So this is the Intel i7, the eighth generation. Probably this is a 2018 model, or maybe the 2019 model. So let's turn it around here. As you can see, the, um, the model here, it says, Legion Y530 15ICH. I think that's what the model is. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. So I've turned the computer upside down, and you're going to have four screws on the top. And these four screws here are actually a bit longer compared to the rest of other screws. Alright, so the screws are slightly longer compared to other screws. Um, just keep in mind some of the screws are missing on this video here. Um, I wasn't sure what happened to the screws like here. There's one screw is missing and there's one here at the bottom as well. Okay, so um, hold on a second. Let me go fix my camera here. Okay, so let's continue. Um, as I was explaining, the missing screws here as well as here. My phone is running out of battery, so I'll try to do this process a little bit faster. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Uh, they are regular Phillips screws, nothing really special. So get a Phillips screwdriver and you should be able to remove all the screws at the bottom here. Alright, so once you have all the screws removed, the back cover should just come right out. So what I'm trying to do is I'm finding a weak spot. Usually try to pry open on the corner. Alright, so once you have all the screws removed, the technically the back cover will just come right out without any problem. You just gotta pry it up and that should have it. Now here you're gonna see the entire motherboard. So obviously the two fans are here. If you have a fan problem, you need to do a replacement on the fan. Uh, go ahead and use the two fingernail and try to push it away from you. So push it away from your body, so out that direction. That's how you disconnect the CPU fan. And I think maybe one or two screws are holding onto it. So let's see. So there's one screw holding onto. Probably there's another one on the, that side, but we'll come to that later. Um, same thing for this. Slide it to your left. Okay. So there's no clipper or whatsoever, it just kind of slide to your left. That's how you remove that CPU fan cable. And it looks like the CPU doesn't want to come out because I think the heat sink is covering one of the screw here. So um, if you're having CPU fan problem, if your fan is not spinning, 
uh, maybe your fan is you know um, very dusty and you're getting overheat heating on a problem uh, this is where you want to maybe add thermal paste on the heat sink so this is what I'm doing right now or at the same time you want to replace the CPU fan or just take it out and dust it right so once you remove not remove once you um, unscrew the heat sink the whole entire heat sink will just come right out without any problem here you can see these are what we call the thermal pad so this thermal pad is you know stick onto this chipset right here and these are what we call the thermal paste and it looks like it's all dried up it's not moist and we do see a dead roaches here right here so this is the time when you want to do some cleaning so I will remove this Mr. Roach put it on the side here you can get one of those alcohol wipes like this okay and go ahead and wipe it off so let's do some maintenance on the CPU and the graphics card so the one left here is the graphics card and this is the CPU i7 try to pick up the thermal paste not to leave anything on the motherboard okay so the same time you might want to come back here and clean out the heat sink just to have a better you know a new thermal paste on it so that way that way the computer would have a much cooling system okay so that's that that is done all right so here as I was explaining you know there might be one more screw that's holding onto the CPU fan which is right here so once you remove that okay once you remove that the CPU fan will just come right out without any problem now if you want to buy a replacement CPU fan you might want to come and take a look here this might be the model number here DC28000 DKF1 alright so if you want to come and clean the CPU fan you can uh, you can get one of this this is the uh, so this is rechargeable portable a blower to dust off everything right so I'm slightly holding onto the fan at the same time just kind of blow and dust it up all right if you if you do not have this you can actually use the A compressor so you can buy one of these A compressor duster and just kind of spray it to clean out the CPU fan okay so that is that and again there's one over here alright so there you have it now like I said this video here I'm trying to focus onto the hard drive so here you can see that I have the regular hard drive, the one terabyte, which has the operating system on it. So I'm trying to upgrade my uh, computer to an M.2 SSD drive. Okay, so the next step you want to do is to probably disconnect the battery um, first before you replace the fan, but that's all right. I already missed that part. So the battery here is actually slide down so slide towards yourself there's no clipper or whatsoever uh, you just got to have the right angle and slide it so let me remove the screw first if you have a, if you have a, the battery that is not holding the charge or maybe uh, the battery is starting to swell if you can see that like a lump on the battery that means the battery is bad okay so I recommend to replace the battery at that moment.
But if your battery is still holding the charge, yeah, just keep using it for now. Uh, there are two, four, five screws. Just hold it onto the, the battery. And again, I found another dead bug. So another dead roaches right here. So you never know what is in the computer. So it's good to just take clean up sometimes and do some maintenance. All right, at this point here, what I'll do is I slightly pull the cable and then I use my finger nail to slide this black cable towards my body. So slide it down towards this direction. And for the Lenovo battery replacement, you can look it up for here, which is L17M3PG1. Okay. So if you want to increase RAM, this is where the RAM is. So the RAM is hidden in this bracket. This metal bracket here is actually clip on, nothing is holding it. So you just got to lift it up. And there you have it. So this runs on a DDR4 and you have additional slot here. So you can do 8 and 8, 16, 16 or 4 and 4. Okay, so you have additional RAM slot here. So this one here is called MB Motherboard Lenovo. If you need to do a replacement on the motherboard, here is your motherboard product number. Okay, just look it up for the motherboard replacement. Now, this is the hard drive. Um, like I said, so you remove the screw. If you're not planning to do the M.2 NVMe, you can actually uh, install regular SSD drive, the 2.5 regular SSD. Now once I remove the three screws, this cable right here, there's a little clipper, flip that black clipper open and slide that cable to your left. Slide it to your left and that way you can remove the entire hard drive. Now um, for my purpose, I am going to put this on the side and I'll be installing the M.2 onto here. Okay, and once I install, I have one of the screw, put it in, and just fasten my M.2. So this M.2 doesn't have the OS, it's brand new. All right, so uh, if you install a new hard drive or a new SSD drive, you actually need to have the Windows 10 um, installer or the bootable disk to install your Windows back on. It doesn't come with any windows, you would have to do that on your own. I do not have it in this video here, but if you request for me to do a tutorial on how to install Windows 10 or create a bootable disk off from Microsoft website, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, just comment below and say that you need help to do Windows installation and I will make one video for you guys. Now. Um, Pretty much this is it and uh, this is the motherboard. If you're planning to replace the motherboard, uh, just remove the screws according to the, you know, if you can see the screws, just remove it. This entire motherboard will just come right out. Here is uh, actually your Wi-Fi card. This one here has the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi built in. This one is actually for your LCD screen. So it goes all the way to the top here. And um, here obviously the keyboard. So if you have a bad keyboard or um, a bad touchpad, you spill some water on it, you try to replace the keyboard, too bad, all right? So what I say too bad is because the keyboard is not a separate component. As you can see, the keyboard here is punched down by the manufacturer. So the keyboard is not a separate thing where you can replace, but you would have to end up replacing the entire palm rest with the keyboard. It's all built in all in one piece together, including the touchpad as well. All right, so I hope for your case, it's not the keyboard problem. But other than that, um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Smash the like button. Have any question, comment below. I look forward to create more of this video for the next time. Take care and good luck.